Harry's shock opened up. Duke's appearance alone at Super Bowl signs for Sussex's marriage doom. Prince Harry met Mickey Guyton, who performed the American National Anthem on Sunday at the Super Bowl 56 game between the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals, backstage following her performance. Ms. Guyton posed for a picture with the prince which she posted on Instagram, captioning it with, I met Prince Harry. He was just lovely. I even curtsied in my tracksuit. Ms. Guyton was dressed in a red tracksuit decorated with white stars for the occasion. She has been nominated for three Grammys at this year's awards, including Best Country Album and Best Country Song for her song Remember My Name. Her song Black Like Me, released in the wake of the murder of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter protests, helped to catapult her into the public eye. The Duke of Sussex was watching the Super Bowl at the SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California with his cousin Princess Eugenie. They were seated in a private box wearing face masks, in accordance with Los Angeles County rules. Their other halves were nowhere to be seen however, with Eugenie's husband Jack Brooks Bank thought to be staying at home in Windsor. The princess and her husband celebrated their son August's first birthday last Wednesday. Other stars in attendance at the game included Kendall Jenner, Charlize Theron, Beyoncé and Katy Perry. The LA Rams were named champions, beating the Cincinnati Bengals 23-20. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they were moving to the US in March 2020, and purchased their LA mansion in August 2020. A statement from them posted on Instagram at the time read, We have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior, members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. The couple now live in LA with their children, two-year-old Archie and eight-month-old Lilibet. Royal fans were treated to a rare appearance from Harry as he attended the NFL Super Bowl on Sunday without wife Meghan Markle, and body language expert Judy James has analyzed his behavior. Prince Harry's appearance at the NFL Super Bowl has been branded an overkill display to show off his new life to the royals, according to a body language expert. The Duke of Sussex was spotted on camera watching the highlight of the American football calendar as the Los Angeles Rams beat the Cincinnati Bengals at the SoFi Stadium in California on Sunday, February 13. Harry was not with his wife Meghan Markle but his cousin Princess Eugenie joined him to watch the event, as he showed her his new life as a private citizen in the USA. Body language expert Judy James watched how Harry and Eugenie interacted at the game and said it emphasizes a friendship that has looked strong for years. She believes Harry looked proud as punch as he took Eugenie to the event. Speaking, Ms. James said, Harry's legs play and his almost overkill display of relaxation suggests he's enjoying showing off his new life to his baseball-capped cousin. Her eye smile and her rather tentative hand touch to her own legs suggest she's suitably excited and impressed by the occasion. Ms. James continued to say that Harry should be showing more of his royal relatives around his U.S. home, including his brother Prince William and Kate Middleton, but reported tensions have not seen that happen. Harry was expected to return to the U.K. this year to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. However, his return has been thrown into doubt over safety fears for him and his family due to no longer having police protection. Harry wants to bring his son Archie and baby daughter Lilibet to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative said. It follows an incident in London in the summer of 2021 when his security was compromised after his car was chased by paparazzi photographers as he left a charity event. Paparazzi photographer